Hi, I'm Wesley. And I'm Danielle. Thank you for joining us once again as we document and share our journey towards financial independence and retire early and move abroad. One of the many highlights of our recent travel to South Africa was learning about the culture and customs of Zulu people. In this video, we will share our full experience into KwaZulu Natal, where we visit the King Shaka Memorial, learn about the traditional medicine, and engage in Zulu dancing. Yes, we will be dancing, or attempting to, at least. <laughs> no, we had a great time on this on this trip, and especially in the KwaZulu Natal. And before we um, share the excitement, I must say, give thanks to Real South Africa for to bringing this experience to us, so we can share with you guys. So before we dive in, I want to say thank you to the subscribers. Thank you for following us, looking at our videos, we do see a recent trend and an uptick in the and the number of viewership. So again, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you can get our new videos right away as soon as we release them. Thank you and enjoy the video. Bye-bye. <laughs> King Shaka was the former of the Zulu Nation, so he formed the Zulu Nation very strong, 1816. So that's why you guys landed at the King Shaka, just yes. to form a, to honor the former of the Zulu Nation, the King Shaka. Yeah. So today we've got the, the King number 12, which is Mrs. Zulu. So we recently, recently uh, lost our King. Yeah. Because of the COVID-19, which was in August, mm. oh, so it's got to be sun is actually taking over. Yeah. So, Mrs. Zulu. Merci. Mesu, Mesu Zulu. Mesu, Mesu Zulu. He's the current king, but he's actually he has been taken uh, permanently to the throne yet because of the stories behind. Because the king that he died recently, and uh, he had uh, seven wives and 31 children. Mm -hmm. So one of the child is supposed to be taken as the king. So it's been a lot of stories today. So if you guys like to take a pictures, you are allowed to. So that is where the King Shaga is the graveyard is over here. On, on the our, left. Oh, I see. You guys can be able to see it. Mm -hmm. King Shaga graveyard. Yeah. So just to take you guys, you okay? Yes. Oh. Yeah, so it's here. Everything is the the, the thing is here. Mm -hmm. This is where he lost his life. Oh, there's so he lost his life over here. They um. It's not just much. It's just a museum. Okay. So research institute. Yeah. Best architect. So the National Road Three, who designed the National Road Three. So they named this area just to honor him. So when the Indians were brought here in 1860, they brought outside of the event because of during an apartheid. Yeah. That's why they brought in here to come and stay here with William Stanley. So yeah. this is the Indian township, uh, the Indian town today. Yeah. So, but we've got some also a lot of students, as I said. Because yeah. we're stuck during an apartheid period. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how the Zulus and the Indians came to an end together. For living in this area, uh, we've got some factories in front of us, not a lot. Mm -hmm. But behind us, maybe you guys, you saw some smoke. Yeah. So that is the sugar cane factory mm -hmm. where they process sugar. Okay. okay. But that's why the bigger portion they're working there. And they use this small area as the shop. Okay. So 90% of it is owned by the Indians and uh, 5 to 10% owned by Black. The sugar factory? I mean the shops here. Yeah. Oh, the shops. Yeah, oh. the sugar factory owned by the whites. Sure. 
So yeah, usually, you know, eh? mm -hmm. it's because we have got the other people here that we cannot even need to see with our spiritual eye, with our naked eyes. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes, we, in order to respect them, yes. we have to take, take the shoes. shoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the respect, when you are getting here, oh, yeah, yeah. you have to take this one and the waist. Okay. Yes. Okay, take the shoes off. And are you sit in here? Sit. Yeah. Sit. All right. Oh, what you learn? Don't tell me wrong, guy. Hey, I'm sure. So this this room and, is for um, she will be explaining everything about here. Mm -hmm. I'm not signed it. Don't call me. Hey, let me call. So as she is doing now, she's mm -hmm. asking to the editors mm -hmm. that does she able to continue to show you everything here? Yes. Yes, she knows. Yesterday, he knows he she 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 being asleep uh, along the way. Knows that he, they are coming. Mm -hmm. You are along there. People that are coming. Mm -hmm. So these are coming. She, since he's doing that, he is talking to the elders. Mm -hmm. It's the other way of the spiritual things, like mm -hmm. the prophetic. Yes. You see. Mm -hmm. So now he's asking from the elders whether mm -hmm. is it good to be for you to open everything here, whether it's supposed to cause it sometimes have got the consequences, mm -hmm. yes, when yes. You, just, you didn't even consult when yes. you each and every work because it is we good are not, to share. Yes, mm -hmm. it's not for other, it's not for our work but mm -hmm. it's for mm -hmm. the elders. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this true? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so she, she's explaining like that. Mm -hmm. She's saying that a, a, a person who is in charge here, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. it says that you are welcome here. Feel it at home. Here there is everything you can get, anything, because here in this house mm -hmm. we have got also a medicine which is heals the ulcers, mm -hmm. it heals the piles, mm -hmm. everything. So here, if, as, you, as you see here, mm -hmm. we have got the different loads. Mm -hmm. Those different loads are also have got the different meanings. Others is for the spiritual. We are wearing it when we are praying because we also pray in our African way. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, others is being uh, used by Ndawe, the spiritual uh, water, people mm -hmm. from the, the water. Also, the others are one from the mountains. Mm -hmm. Then also, we use those things. As you see, the different clothes here, mm -hmm. they are presenting the different ancestors. Mm -hmm. They just show you, how do you know that you have to buy these clothes? Mm -hmm. They come to you at night, mm -hmm. then you dream of a cloth, then you wake up at night. They even told you where you, how you're going to use it, mm -hmm. where you're going to put it. Mm -hmm. As you're going to see, all these rooms have got a different clothes mm -hmm. like this. They have got their different people that they are honoring those things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Usually, as you see, that we have got... Uh, us, like we are still about to graduate mm -hmm. we are wearing a red and white ne? Red together and white. with mm -hmm. this one mm -hmm. so as uh, as the elder this one it's mm -hmm. like uh, our doctor mm -hmm. who is training us is our trainee yeah. is the one who graduated is have got so many people that are being graduated under here yes. so is that high you haven't got this room also mm -hmm. this is the third room it's the fourth room actually Mm -hmm. As you see, the other one is there, then they have got the two, mm -hmm. then this is the fourth one, which means it's being graduated four times, mm -hmm. okay. being a doctorate. Okay, yes. good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. And you're, you're on your way, you're on your way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still new, still but I'm new. about to finish next week. It's my graduation now. I'm going to be a professional wow. doctor. All right, good job. Good, 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 good. Yes. I feel really young, really. Good. Are we on the mm -hmm. So, 
Yeah. What what is ah, what is this, this one? Piece it's here? a it's a it's a horse tail. Mm -hmm. It's a horse tail. Mm -hmm. As as sangomas, we are using it in order they put muti inside. We are using it when we are doing the ritual, maybe mm -hmm. when we are dancing. Mm -hmm. Also at the same time, these things are protecting us. Usually when we are going out, you have to you mustn't leave it because there are the things that are inside there that are protecting you. Sometimes you can see that thing doing some strange things it mm. shows you that they are the spirit that are not mm. good so right. which means they are using it sometimes when we be we are in the house throwing the bones we mm. are using that thing mm. also to show some bones on mm. it yes mm. you have any questions Karen? no you don't have any question? no question we're still going to go more questions at the consulting room, consulting room. Yeah. Okay. And also, she will pass around to show the kids' room inside. The kids' see. room. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, mm. Actually, the main heart. So, ladies on the side, guys oh, on the side. Okay, Sorry to separate you guys. Mm. We'll be here so, next this time. is the main one, the one that mm. we were using the bones. Mm. As you saw that side, we were using other different things mm. to check what is the problem actually here we have got the we are using the bones here in this mm -hmm. house mm -hmm. so i'm going to just to take you through mm -hmm. the bones and then you have to see how does it work mm -hmm. so this is the back of the bones mm -hmm. This one is being put by the men, African men. Mm -hmm. It shows that uh, you have got a special rank. Mm -hmm. So, which means, if as we are putting this one, we are respecting those men that mm -hmm. are our ancestors. Yes. So, we are putting it in our lives. Mm -hmm. They must take control of everything. Mm -hmm. It's a way of respecting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, this is our bones, mm -hmm. as you see. Then it shows the different things. It oh, okay. has special meanings. When you just come for the training initiation, they take, they taught you how to use it. Usually, you, you can know it by looking at this. Mm -hmm. But when you are consulting, when you're supposed to tell someone the problems, mm -hmm. it's something that is turning at the other side. It's, there is someone who usually talk to you. Mm -hmm. Someone showing the, where is the problem of a person. Yeah. As we are using the bones, yeah. yes, it's have got this diff different meanings actually. Mm -hmm. As you see, she is pointing, is catching something that you can even taught mm -hmm. that she, she say about you, about your family, about yourself, mm -hmm. about your sickness, about mm -hmm. everything, your lacks and everything. Yes. Okay. So, Coco, yes. So as you see now, it shows that you are coming far, mm -hmm. you are coming here, then it told us about your oldest people, about your grand. As you were saying that you have got, sometimes I've got the dreams, mm -hmm. it shows us here that you have got a, a, a calling, even though that you didn't ever started to do it, mm -hmm. but you are a person who usually when you are sleeping, you see the things that other people they cannot see. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. It shows us here down there. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's how it is goes. It shows us that you have got two kids. One of your kid, one of your your your, your girl is born with a something that is spiritual that was being in you also. Mm -hmm. Then it's being transferred to your to the one of your kid. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mommy. Thank you. Yeah. Mommy. Can you use this uh to help you um, understand what what the what the person is sick, what sickness the person exactly. may have. Exactly, we yeah. are detecting this is uh, mm -hmm. this is it seems like uh, the one who is being prophetic in the church. Yeah. But here we are throwing the bones mm -hmm. to get where is your problem? 
Where does your thing being stuck? Mm -hmm. Which medicine that we can give you? Mm -hmm. How can we help you along the way? How can you be successful? Yeah. Maybe you have got the foreign fathers that you want to do something for them. Mm -hmm. Then it's also taught us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, that one. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. That one, remember when I was telling you that outside is yeah. the one that is standing like this one? Yeah. The one that is for the bed lugs. Mm -hmm. So that one is the one that we mix with the one for the lax. Okay. Because we are not using only one medicine. Oh, okay, okay. You, mix mix you mix them. You mix them. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that one also we are adding in that one. As you see, it's whiter than this one. Yes. In yeah. This one, it takes away for the bed lugs. Mm -hmm. Then the other one, the white one, is open the lax. Oh, okay. Yes. Take away and open. Yes, exactly. Oh. So for new life. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. To goza. To goza. To goza. To goza. The market is coming now in one minute. Now, there, there by where the, where the second truck is. Yeah. Such a babysitter. So me and my horsey can go to the farm. The help and you call it the help market. Yeah. Where you get the local uh, herbs and stuff. Hey, I'm the name there, you see? Okay, the yo the herb herb market. Hey, I'm not the mama. I'm the herb market. The herb market. But the gate is in front of us. Yeah. Hi baby. Here's the gate here, you see there were the gate here. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, it's closed. No, it's closed today. I'm, I'm here at the Victoria Help Market. Um, the Help Market is one of the biggest warehouses in South Africa, not in the province of Pazulu Natal. A uh, reason behind, in the past, we had a lot of problems regarding to get help with the medicines. So that's how this biggest warehouse was built here. So this warehouse, uh, it's actually accommodate all the traditional Zulu medicines. As a belief that actually if we lose our traditional medicines, maybe in one day we will have a big problem regarding actually seeking for medicine. So that's why our traditional Zulu doctors right here, they're always here to help um, to those all the different medicines. For in case if the opposite party actually won the leading party again. So we have the problem as the Africans, as I strongly believe, we will suffer again. So that's why we have mm. our traditional uh, Zulu medicines here, as I believe that if we do even lose the leading party, so that that's where we will reply and get our own medicines. So here no, mom, so um, we have all over the supply all over the countryside where we've got the biggest numbers of the Africans that will come for these medicines and to get the medicines here. It's very safe in the area here to come in and out, especially to do trolls and to with the local guides actually to learn about these medicines as we have these two traditional Zulu doctors, they're always able to capable to help us during the tours. The enjoyment is that's where um but in olden days, what used to be is we have to go back into the history of the country. The British came on the 24th of, uh, in 1824, sorry. So before that, used to be no shops, uh, used to be no shopping malls. So the Zulus were relying on plowing and hunting. So when the Zulus, they used to go and to hunt a lot of wildlife. After what life they will be coming back and do the celebration, that enjoyment celebration. If they already caught a big animal, it will be a very big uh, competition. 
which is called Isi Kenyane. Isi Kenyane, that is the one of the competition that's enjoying that today we didn't caught a small animal. We caught a big animal like a buffalo, showing thank you God for letting us know to able to catch a big animal. So that's how they call us enjoyment or Isi Kenyane. They end up turning like a competition where the ladies will be showing they can dance better than the guys and the guys will be end up uh, showing they can dance better than the ladies. What they will do, they'll be hitting the ground and putting the, the hands up. That shows thank you God. When they're putting the hands up, it says thank you God for giving us a big meal today. That's why we have to hit the ground to show that you hear us where we are, that we are really celebrating ourselves. No matter we can break up our feet or whatever, but we really thank you. This is actually the kind of showing that we really appreciate what we have got today. So the dance that you guys had on that day was called Isi Kenyane. Isi Kenyane. Cultural the story. Yes, then we go to the weaving women and then we pass by the Sangoma. So the Sangoma can tell you how they become Sangoma. Yes, thank you. Thank you.